Dallas Keuchel on the mound for the White Sox this evening. And as he gets ready here, we can take a look at those numbers on his 2021 season. Hard to beat what he did in 2020, but this has certainly been a little bit of a regression. Yeah, for sure. I mean, last year, of course, you always want to be reminded it was a shortened season, but Melanie, to your point, a 199 ERA. He only gave up two home runs, and so far in the season, we talked about it not long ago, but 22 so far long balls he's given up this season. That's the most of his career. Patrick Wisdom stands in. He rips at the first pitch from Keuchel. It's up. It's back. And Patrick Wisdom. We told you there would be a birthday bomb. He delivers his 22nd home run of the year. Cubs take a 3-0 lead. He's got Larry Van over at first. Sean Barber man's second. Dan Bellino is up the line at third. One for Austin Romine. And this one just tucks itself fair. Austin Romine. Squeaks in a single. And the Cubs with two outs keep coming. Pitch home to Chirinos. He drives this one into left center field. Take a look back. It'll bounce against the wall. Turning goes Austin Romine. He gets the wave home. The throw to the plate. Did he get the tag? No. Ball falls away. And Robinson Chirinos tacks on. It's 4-0 Cubs. 1-2, Hayward, it sounds like a broken bat roller to second base. There's no flip on the play. Cesar Hernandez, second baseman for the White Sox, tries to make the scoop, can't come up with it. Chirinos moves second to third. 2-2, two -two, and this one gets down for a base hit. Chirinos scores easily. Hayward, he'll be held up. And the Cubs keep attacking here. They will bat around in the first inning off the White Sox. Driving up pitch counts just by being patient. And the Cubs have done that tonight. Now caught in a rundown. It's Andrew Romine. He draws the defense off the line. Coming home, Jason Hayward. 6-0 Cubs. Can you believe it? There is chaos in Chicago right now, and the fans are absolutely restless. It's not often that you're going to see guys go on Keuchel, but Romine takes his chance, and man, Hernandez, who has been so solid there at second, just throws it away, just rushing. And Tony La is really going to need them to get after Keegan Thompson. Cubs score six runs on six hits. They bat around off of Keuchel in the first innings. Payoff pitch. Anderson drives a fastball into left field. This one takes a bounce right in front of the track. And Tim Anderson is already answering for the White Sox. It's a leadoff double. There's one out. And Tim Anderson hanging out at second as the 2-2 to Abreu. He drives it up the middle. Anderson takes a look. He'll jog in from third. The RBI machine is at it again. A big swing for Robert, heading back at the wall, over the head of Jason Hayward. He's going to have to track this one down. Robert advances to second. He's got a stand-up leadoff double. 1-0 and a smash for Abreu. This one just tucks inside the line. It's fair. Coming around to score, Luis Robert. And stop us if you've heard this one. Jose Abreu scores another run for the White Sox. They cut the lead 6-2 to two in the third. Two on, nobody out. Payoff. Moncada drops the ball into left field. It's a base hit. Jose Abreu gets the wave around. And the White Sox have cut the lead in half in the third. Yon Moncada. RBI single, it's 6-3. We'll start with Yasmani Grandal in minute first and second. He swings and skies out to right field, getting up and at the pole. It stays fair for a home run. Yasmani Grandal, redemption made. Home run 15 on the year. It's a 6-6 ball game in the third. This is the biggest comeback for the White Sox. The biggest deficit they have faced before this evening was four runs. They erase a Cubs 6-0 lead. Sampson then look to second. 0-1. He pops this one up out 
behind the shortstop, Andrew Romine. And he bobbles this one again. It comes off of the glove. Andrew Vaughn is taken off. It's 7-6, White Sox. David Ross said the day off, everybody's available, and he might need them as this is a drive into left field. Base hit, Anderson comes home. He waves Robert around. He'll score. Two runs come home for Eloy Jimenez. 9-6, White Sox. Four-seam fastball out to center field. Hermosillo is back, makes a leap at the wall. Michael Hermosillo. How about ending every inning for the Cubs there? Michael Hermosillo robs Vaughn. Holds this one. It's 9-6 White Sox to the fifth. That'll make you say, wow, get up and above. That was going out of the park. What is Michael this Rucker. game? <laughs> Thank your teammate. Here's a drive out to right field. This one gets ricocheted off the wall for Jason Hayward. Tim Anderson is on fire this evening. He has got his second double of the night. Ground ball up the middle off the pitcher's mound. Michael Hermosillo is going to have to charge in on this one, but Tim Anderson is already off and running. It's 10-6, White Sox. This is off again. Jose Abreu to left field. White Sox continue to attack here. Final out, 11-6, White Sox, bottom of the fifth. 2-1, Grandal drives it into right field, base hit. White Sox continue to pour it on here now as Hayward tries to trap this one. Coming around, Eloy Jimenez, 13-6. Hermosillo sends a slider out to left field. This one is back, is it fair? It's gone. Michael Hermosillo with his second home run of the season, a solo Jack with two outs in the seventh. And the Cubs find their first answer since the first inning. 3-2, Hap, fair ball down the right side. Coming around, Patrick Wisdom. And the Cubs continue to show they are down but not out. Ian Hap with his first base hit of the night. He goes for extras. It's an RBI double. They cut back in again. It's 14-8. Jason Hayward with a little here. This one bounces out past first base. It's fair. He brings home two more. And the Cubs are still showing you they're going to make this one interesting. It's 14 10 as now the north side crosses double digits. Grandal, fastball, deep and gone. Yasmani Grandal, his second. Long ball of the year. You think he's feeling better? And the White Sox take it right back. It's 17 10. Well, upright. 2 2. Wisdom drives a fastball out back into left field. It's gone. Patrick Wisdom, a two run home run night. Pitch home, half swings, drive into left field. Getting up, getting back, and this one is gone. Unbelievable, Ian Happ. Are you kidding me? It's a two-run blast, and the Cubs again cut the lead. It's 17-13. Oh, two. Romine can't hold up a strikeout, and it finally draws it to a close. But the Cubs fight three runs in the ninth. White Sox hold on to this one, 17-13. A combined 28 hits in this first game of the Crosstown Classic.